The first thing that you can do as a scuba diver to be more respectful and help protect the ocean is to improve your buoyancy. Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm gonna tell you 5 plus 1 ways on how to be a more ocean friendly diver. Let's dive into it. Like I've already said, the first thing that you can do to help protect the ocean and be more respectful is improving your buoyancy. For me, having a good buoyancy is one of the most important... No, no, it's the most important skill that a scuba diver may learn properly. Because it helps you not only feeling better in the water and consuming less air. Moreover, having good buoyancy allows you to better understand where you are in the water and drift weightless close to the bottom without touching it. Bumping on coral, kneeling down or even thinning and creating these huge clouds of sediments are going to be harmful with the risk of breaking, hurting or even killing many different underwater creatures. Think about coral that may need decades just to grow a few centimeters. And now tell me, how big the damage can be with only one fin kick on a coral formation? Okay, now try to multiply this damage for many fin kicks for many divers every day. Now you understand why improving your buoyancy skill is the first thing that you can do to be a more ocean friendly scuba diver. Let's move to the second. Dive with a mesh pack. Always more often it has become common to find all kinds of rubbish underwater from plastic bags to fishing line and nets, and now, due to the pandemic, even single-use face masks. So, it's always better to dive with some sort of bag to collect debris. I personally suggest a mesh bag instead of a normal bag because it has holes that let the water flow, keeping only the rubbish inside. Collecting debris is even better than picking up shells. At the end of the dive, you will not have a nice souvenir but you will be proud because you have done something great for the ocean. Use organic defogging agents. Nowadays there are so many options as defogging agents and I can understand maybe you don't want to spit into the mask, even if for me it's still the best way possible to prevent it from fogging up. If you really want to use a defogger, at least choose an eco-friendly one, so you are not going to pollute the ocean every time you rinse the mask before a dive. Soap, shampoo and toothpaste are good, just make sure that they are biodegradable. If you want to know more on how to prevent your mask from fogging up, go watch my video on this topic that I leave you up here and in the description below. Wait, 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 not now! Make sure you go watch it after you finish watching this video. We reach the fourth way to be more ocean friendly and it is avoid single-use plastic. As we all know, it's really important to remain hydrated before and after diving, drinking as much water as possible. Many diving centers and boats have drinkable water available from the tap or even from big dispensers. So please, bring with you a reusable water bottle and avoid the waste of single-use plastic bottles and cups. It's 2021, you have many choices between glass, aluminium or aluminum as you prefer to say, bamboo, vegetable based plastic and so on. You have only to choose one and buy it. Nowadays many training agencies, diving centers and environmental organizations sell their own personalized reusable bottles. And many times they donate part of the incomes to projects on ocean conservation. So you buy one and they see benefits twice. Cool, right? Choose eco-friendly scuba gear. In the past, diving gear used to be made with petroleum derivatives. At present time, many scuba gear brands are developing new materials derived from minerals or natural ones like vegetable rubber and polymers or recycled ghost nets, plastic bottles, fabrics and even used tires. So next time you have to buy new scuba gear, spend a few minutes reading the product specs to make sure of what you are spending money for. Ok, now you know what are the 5 ways to be a more ocean friendly scuba diver. But before to wrap down this video I'd like to give you a bonus tip that is don't use gloves. I know that right now many of you are gonna be upset for what I'm saying but I want to clarify that I'm not saying that you never have to use gloves. 
for sure you need thick neoprene gloves or even dry gloves if you are diving, I don't know, in North UK or in a frozen lake in Germany. But if you are diving in tropical waters or warm waters, I strongly suggest you not to use them. Many times knowing that your hands are protected gives you the perception that you are allowed to touch whatever you want. And this thing is really dangerous and harmful for you, but even more for the environment. I really appreciate diving centers that discourage the use of gloves during the dives and educate people on a more aware touch. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.